people get halfway through the food area and they don't realize it's an actual another pool in the back on the back side of the ship so it's like so many people <laughs> so many people up front i'm gonna take y'all around in a minute but it's so many people up front but they don't realize it's a, it's a whole nother area in the back it's a whole nother pool it's two more hot tubs and That's why I'm glad we officially begin. Everybody head on up to the leader deck. Um, okay. That uh, the back pool is much more calmer. It's a lot less people. You can actually relax and like lay out in the sun. It's less kids back there. It's not a lot a lot of kids on this cruise anyway, because it's November. Praise God. Uh, so I would suggest if you're an adult and you don't want to cruise with a lot of children, go during the school year. Don't go during the breaks. Go like the middle of the week. Because you know that it's not going to be a lot, a lot of kids. I mean, most people don't want their kids to be able to count that amount of school. Hello, loves, and welcome back. This is part two of the Carnival Cruise vlog. Um, the first part of this vlog is actually some footage that I thought I lost, but I realized I was actually vlogging with my husband's phone as well because my phone died when we got on the ship. So it's just a tour of the ship. Um, I'm going to show you like the pool area, um, some places inside. It was pretty empty because everybody was pretty much outside waiting for their rooms. Um, and then it's going to be the... Um, the port day we ported in Cozumel, Mexico. We did the ATV, uh, cenote, and tequila tasting, and then we went to a beach club. So I hope you guys enjoy it, and I will see you in a minute. tour hopefully soon uh it takes you through the jungle i think and then and to the cave tavern thing and then to the beach the beach um uh, like a beach club oh yeah it's early i drank way too much to be trying to do the atv in the sun and it's hot but we're here in Mexico. Are you excited? You ready to do your ATV? He's not, ex he's tired. <laughs> uh, triathlon. Oh. Uh, the name is Gran Fondo de Nueva York. Oh. Uh, the next weekend is the Ironman. Do you know the Ironman? Uh, it's international. Triathlon. Oh, the Ironman Challenge? Yes. Okay, yeah. I think they do like swimming, biking. It's like four or five different sports. What time do you need to start today? Uh, three thirty. Three thirty. Okay. So I think it's four thirty at their time. Four thirty. Yeah. 
Four thirty. No, no, three thirty. Their time. Oh. Yeah, I would we have one hour difference. Yeah. Yeah. So three thirty local hour. Yeah. Okay. We got plenty of time. Yeah. Around this more small, yeah. like here. With this, Some people come here to make that. Everybody's waiting. Do it. Ah! Ah! First inside the water, like seeds, like fruit, mm -hmm. not humans. Oh, How much, what's the story about the tree here? The tree here, was here, oh. like a palm. Yeah, collapse. Is that side B? In the middle. It's just metal. Uh -huh. like Have you jumped see, before? Yeah. Like you see, we can see the bottom right here. Yeah. yeah. It'd be clean. But there they use like little no dark. That's because they do. Yeah. Do you wanna jump? Yo. No. My own sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a picture of you guys? Yes. I mean, it's so the line because that's not the right way to do tequila. Oh, okay. <laughs> if you guys see it that way, it's not tequila, it's tequila. Yeah, that's why it is. Tequila, oh, yeah. Tequila, yeah. 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 You know, guys, tequila comes from a specific place from Mexico, the state of Jalisco, in the middle of the country. We are now in Cozumel, Island, in Caribbean. So, from Jalisco, our company, to get to tequila, our tequila to Cosmo, takes about like 38 hours driving. Oh, wow. So, uh, before you guys buy anything in Mexico, you guys have to make sure tequila is organic. How you guys can tell? Very easy, you know. The families that we make tequila in an old-fashioned way, you're gonna see in the, in, in the tequila bottle, you know, the family name here, mm -hmm. okay? And uh, family crest at the bottom. Okay. So you see those who think that tequila is organic, and it's said to be good. Now, this is very important, guys. Look, tequila blanco, a clear tequila, this tequila will never look it straight. Because the love of tequila is strong and it burns. Okay, so tequila back in Mexico, just for mixed drinks. Okay. We're okay? going to enjoy with the love of tequila a delicious piña colada, the passion fruit, you know, which you got to be careful with this, Senorita, because if you give too much to your husband, um, it's a kind of tradition. You know? mm. Well, yeah, let's not give him that one. No, 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 it's good. You call the coochie coochie. <laughs> 
<laughs> and this one is the almond tequila, the almond, you know. And this one is the coffee, white chocolate, caramel, vanilla extract, and this one. Okay. So if you guys like straight mixed with tequila, well, that's the with tequila. But if you like to do sip with tequila, you know, good tequila quality, then we have different different qualities. You know, we have this tequila, we call it reposado. It's a tequila blanco that age one year, a bit better. This one is añejo, twelve years, seven years, I'm sorry. Uh, the second best tequila in Mexico is the extra new the 12 years, okay? But the best that we have in Mexico is the black tequila, we age 18 years. Oh, wow. So, okay? But if you buy this tequila, the only person you share with is your husband, for your wife. That's it, okay? Nobody else, okay? Not even your friends, mm, not even you, in no spot. It's <laughs> just for the two of you, alright? So let's go to the test, guys. Come on, come on. All right, I'm gonna try to talk y'all when it is loud. today we went to Cozumel let me turn the camera okay uh went to Cozumel we did the ATV tequila tasting with um a beach club access and a meal and I think it was $78 a person we booked it on shore um it's what is it called shore it's excursioneer.com I'll put the link down below um but it was really really fun the tour guide was really nice he took us all the way around the we drove like a little jeep he took us all the way around the island and then we went to the jungle area where the sea note fresh water um pool situation ca cavern is caves and stuff um we drove the ACVs all through the jungle all all around the little um uh, in that little town so what else we do oh if you're gonna do the ACVs you need to be prepared to be get dirty so I just wore like a sports bra work I just wore a workout set and um some like little uh, those little running shoes those like water running shoes with the little toes i had some of those so you need to be prepared to get dirty um after that we just hung out after we got done with that we did the atvs then we did the little tequila tasting in the same little town and then we left there drove back to the shore where the beach club was i can't think of what the beach club name i think it was Anva, I, I mean, it was cool, but I personally, if I had to pay for it, like the beach club, I would probably go with um, uh, Mr. Sancho's or Paradise Beach. But they have a lot of beach clubs all along the shore where you can just go, pay a fee, includes your food, your drinks, um they have jet skis they have like inflatables you can do pay for uh parasailing um paddle boats you can snorkel you can do it all and they have like really nice pools this one had a pool but like i just i don't know i just wasn't impressed by it but um i think we ever do a cosmic again i want to try like paradise beach for uh, mr sancho's so we ended up leaving there we hung out at the beach got in the water and all that good stuff and the thing about this beach though you could actually see fish like swimming around you very close to the shore and i was very surprised by it um but it was nice it was really really nice 
Oh, and they're not big fish. They're like, you know, tropical fish. Um, we left there about three. Also, our excursion included uh, transportation. So we had transportation from the port to the ATV area. And then we had transportation from the beach club to back to the port. So he dropped us off like right in front of the port and we just crossed the street and uh, got back on the boat. Uh, but everything went smoothly. We got back on on time. We were done like pretty early because once we got to the beach club, you can just leave whenever you want. So just tell them, hey, I need to be back on the boat at a certain time and they'll have transportation ready. Um, what else? Got back on the boat, kind of hung out. We went and had dinner early because we were hungry. <laughs> oh, the time threw me off because Cozumel does not recognize daylight saving time anymore. So they were an hour ahead of us. Yeah. So it, it was throwing me off because my phone was reading four o'clock, but it was actually three o'clock boat time and so i thought we had missed like a lunch the lunch buffet but we hadn't so by the time we got upstairs to the area where the buffet is it was like just shutting down uh anyway we found to deal or no deal we just left karaoke which was so funny and now we are about to go uh do the i think it's called a love and marriage like the little trivia show in the theater this is what i'm wearing today i'm getting a little split action oh it's still big can you see my split oh, okay there's a pie hello okay this is what i have on today i had on my other dress that ties around my neck behind it. these things are heavy and all of that on my no all of it on my neck was too much okay so dress is from she in and i just have on my little well oh well, that's too high i ain't gonna i just put y'all on the floor and i just have on my little flip flops and here is the animal for the day the towel animal it looks like a little elephant um, our steward has been like really, really sweet, so I need to make sure I leave a tip for him. Um, everybody's been like really nice. And when I tell y'all they clean these ships constantly, constantly, they're mopping in the middle of the floor, in the middle of the day, in the middle of dinner, in the middle of lunch, vacuuming, wiping down. Like, I have never seen this many people on a boat and the bathrooms are clean. The floor is clean. They constantly cleaning and you see them cleaning. But anyway, I'm about to go downstairs and um, go to this love and marriage thing. I'll see y'all in a little bit. We are in the arcade. criminal penalty from government authorities. Should you need any additional information, please check with your stateroom attendant or guest services. To any guest who has not yet checked in at their assigned muster station, must do so at this time Ooh. on deck four. Our See, this one glad that ain't a lot of kids on here. Thank you for your attention. That's what? Oh. She got some pent up aggression, I don't know. <laughs> That's it? Is that it? Big 
steps out of the shower and all his might no, drops right. the towel on the floor. Oh god. I want you to tell me what does he most resemble? And I'll give you a few examples. Here's one of the examples. Does he most resemble a stretch limousine? Does he most resemble a Ford dump truck? Or does he most resemble a smart car? You said it was trash, one. Real quick, this is the outfit today. Last date. Let's see. Great Saturday at home. Huh? Mm -hmm. This is here. I throw my little handy dandy um flip flops and we are headed to brunch. What you wanna do today? Meet a cougar. Meet a cougar. Okay. Well, I hope, yeah, here we go. Yeah. Maybe she can give us back some of our money, child. All right. See? I don't know. I have to check and see if the table's ready. It's rocky. Um, 
think it's called Bonine or Motion Sickness this morning because it is, you can definitely feel the cold uh, weather. And it's cool outside and it's very choppy. So my plan was to hang out by the pool today and hang in the hot tub, but it's just way too cold. Uh, so we're just gonna hang it inside and chill, find some stuff to do. <sighs> Yeah, it's, it's very, it has an overcast today, and it's very windy, like, very windy. 